Hello, Miami. This is Drew Five Sports Now, your home podcast and channel for all things Miami sports related. I am Will, and I just wanted to go over just a few things today as I want to talk about, you know, the Canes uh, defensive line recruiting and also its coaches, Joe Salavea and Jason Taylor as well, especially after the great acquisition of Artavius Jones, which made, you know, the Miami Hurricanes quite successful in landing one of the top defensive line recruits in the country that they've been uh, going after, you know, for the last uh, for the last basically the, this last year, you know, in general, Jason Taylor and Joe Salavea have been working diligently as Hurricanes coaches to make sure that they do everything possible to bring the best talent over to the University of Miami. And uh, now the thing is that although the Miami Hurricanes have in, have struck out, you know, against, you know, um, guys like, for example, like Justin Scott, you know, and um, we'll see where David Stone's at. The Miami Hurricanes are in, you know, as far as recruiting when it comes to getting these types of players. And and that's a good thing because what the Miami Hurricanes are trying to do is build talent and starting with the aggressiveness and and the power of what is a good front four. Right now, now why is that possible? Well, for starters, I just want to say a few things. Uh, not to take anything away from, from Coach Salavea. So, Coach Salavea is a very well-respected head coach. I'm sorry, head coach, sorry, defensive line coach. He's been with Mario Cristobal for, for a good number of seasons now. So he knows how to he knows how to build talent. Right? He knows how to, you know, how to work with players as well. All right. He, he's also a very, very good recruiter. He was listed as the primary recruiter for Artavius. So that's a good thing as far as that goes. But you cannot knock the fact that Jason Taylor has a very pivotal role and huge role in bringing in the talent. The one thing about JT, aside from being one of the greatest defensive ends in the history of the Miami Dolphins, if not the best defensive end to ever play for the Finns, he's also a Hall of Famer. But uh, what uh, what happens to a lot of star athletes is that their play on the field doesn't always transition well, you know, as far as coaching goes. All right, so that's one of the things that that we've seen, you know, in the past as in reference to you know coaches becoming, I'm sorry, players becoming coaches, and but JT has done that. Very well and seamlessly. At the high school level, he was a very well-respected defensive coordinator for St. Thomas Aquinas. Now he's a very well-respected defensive line slash ends coach for the Miami Hurricanes. And as a, he is one hell of a recruiter. Kamari Franklin, all right, came in here and worked out and, taught him, uh, and he taught him a few things. And he learned a lot from Jason Taylor. Had a great experience according to what he talked about as far as being on campus and being coached by JT. Another one that really liked being coached by Jason Taylor that made him uh, that made him commit to the Canes was Marquise Lightfoot, who, who said uh, pretty much that you know as, as was as re- was repeated by Flo in a summary you know on my show when he was on here he said Marquise Lightfoot you know learned something and he was able to use it you know and uh, and some drills and stuff like that and it was very successful. So what the Canes are doing right now, right with Salavea, right who's a, who's a veteran a veteran coach in college football and Jason Taylor who's a former uh, NFL Hall of Famer who's a NFL Hall of Famer and a former you know, pro bowler for, for the Miami Dolphins is that they're going to build a legacy. All right. As far as the defensive line goes, the Miami Hurricanes will eventually have one of the top defensive lines in all of college football. All right. I'm talking about not just the tackle position, but also the end position. So think of it this way. If we go back to 2022, all right. And uh, the 2022, uh, 2022 season, when they're recruiting for the 2023 cycle, all right, you have, you know, Jaden Wayne, Ruben Bain. Then before that, you have Cyrus Moss, all right? You have Cyrus Moss, Najali Kelly as well, all recruited to become Miami Hurricanes. And all those guys who were very standout football players in their respective schools and more than likely is going to transition to the football field here at the University of Miami. So it is very exciting to see what the Canes are absolutely building as far as talent goes at the D-line position. I love the D-line. Everything starts in the trenches, man. Everything starts in the trenches, whether it's the offensive line or the defensive line. Because with the offensive line, we all know if a quarterback's jersey is clean, receivers get open, they get the ball, they get the ball, they make plays. It all starts with those guys, that front five. And on the defensive line, that front four is very, very important. Because, because if the front four does its job, okay, if those tackles eat up their blocks and those edge rushers get to the quarterback, everything else is easier for the linebackers to make plays and for the defensive backs to make plays as well. Whether, whether it be interceptions, batting balls down, or just basically just basically staying with their man and just looking good, you know, as far as, you know, the, the statistics go. So that is something that I am very, very, very excited. 
the mere fact that the Miami Hurricanes, you know, are going are going D line strong, and Jason Taylor and Joe Salavea are leading the way. So I'm very excited. All right, that's it for me, folks. Just very quick, straight to the point. I wanted to address, you know, do a little special and give a little props to the coaches. I will be doing some of these as well uh, throughout the summer, talking about the coaching staff and its player development. And not only that, guys, I want you also to remember that this upcoming Wednesday morning, I will be I will be airing an episode with John from Cafecito con Canes. All right, we'll be talking about recruiting. We have a lot to talk about, especially with the Jones and uh, the um, the JoJo Trader commitments as well. And also, I'll be doing I'll be doing another possible Cane special Friday uh, morning or afternoon. I haven't decided yet. Morning or afternoon on Nate Frazier, the top tailback in the country. All right, everybody, if you like what you heard. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to 305 Sports Now. I am Will. Stay safe. God bless you soon. Go Canes. Bye-bye, guys.